right, right about now, we are gearing up for back to school. My kids have already all gone back to school. And this year is super different. They haven't actually gone to school. So normally I'm getting a little bit of a reprieve and I'm getting that me time back after this long summer of having the kids home. I work from home, um, help me run one business and everything. <laughs> it just is, it been an insane year for all of us. But here in New Mexico, uh, kids are not going back to school. They're doing all their school online. So it's made it a little bit crazy. Um, as most of you know, um, we have five kids still in school. The older two that are in high school are fine. It's the younger three. They all have different schedules, all in different schools, basically, if you will. It's just been chaos this week. So what tends to happen is around this time is we start to slip up on things like our diet or think, you know what, I can just miss a workout. I can miss, you know, that normal cardio session or the weights um, or, you know what, just a quick meal or quick fast food meal might you know not be so bad it won't hurt me and you know maybe one little thing here or there you know might be able to be okay if you get right back on track but that's not usually what happens and I say that because I've been there one leads to another and then a bunch of small decisions like that add up and next thing you know we're slipping um, obviously we tend to wear our sweatshirts <laughs> and it is going to cover all of our skin and we're not going to feel the need to stress out about it as much. But really, we need to be able to take um, a little time and focus on that. So how can we do that? Um, what are some tips that can help you manage uh, this fall season where we're baking, it's getting cooler, uh, we're busier because of school, things like that. Everything just kind of happens all at once, usually right around September, October. What can we do to help that? I'm here to tell you. Stay consistent no matter what you do, even if you have a drink or a treat, move on, log it, and continue on. Make sure you plan and prep as much as you possibly can for this busy season going into the school year and all the other things that go on in the fall. Planning is your best friend. Journal your goals. Make sure those goals are written down so you can look back on them for reference. Keep them in a place if you need to. Find a friend for accountability. This is so important, especially for us women, because we need somebody to hold us accountable to our goals. Go to bed early because if you do that, that means your kids are going to bed earlier and it will leave you a little more time to plan ahead every week. Obviously, all of this is nothing without commitment. Commitment is the biggest and most important key to all of this. Make sure you're committed. <laughs> all right, now that you've listened to a few of my tips, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am always here for you. Uh, my Instagram is bitwarriornm. Please look me up, please drop me a line uh, and let me know how I can help you. I have great tips, I have mastered how to cook very quickly but healthy for yourself and your kids how to meal prep how to make enough so you have more for the leftover meals if you're like me and you have lots of kids and it's hard to meal prep um, around that so just drop me a line let me know again my name is Kara and uh, I'm here for you guys if you need me help you know where to find me thanks <laughs>